to be confident is to be free, to be powerful and unstoppable. I know most of us could use some dose of those attributes. I want to share with you today 15 ways to boost your confidence so you can set out to do anything you want. Keep watching. Hi, I hope you're well. Fernanda Klei here, your personal brand image and style consultant and founder of Fernand.co for executive image management, where I help corporate professionals and entrepreneurs look their ultimate best for work through my image management and personal branding courses. Confidence is an achievable and trainable trait. The secret ingredient to self-confidence is simply belief. Nothing more, nothing less. Believing in this amazing being called you is the ultimate power to high achievement. When you believe in your ability to do something, your brain affects your mind, your thoughts and behavior that are then programmed to act accordingly. And this has been scientifically tested and proven many times. As human beings, our nature automatically seeks security and comfort. And that's why a lot of people go through life settling for good enough after they've had some setbacks or failures in an attempt to achieve their dreams. But what differentiates people like Michael Jordan, JK Rowling, and Oprah Winfrey from those people is their ability to get back up again and believe in themselves and their abilities, of course, supported by discipline and action. I promise you, you hold the power to create your own opportunities and chances, no matter how big they are. All you have to do is really be confident in yourself. I'm going to mention 15 ways to increase your confidence just as they've worked for me and millions of other people. I hope they work for you too. Trust your capabilities. You have two options. You can either trust your ability to do what you enjoy doing or avoid it and become unhappy. You have to trust in your skill, whether it's produce, create, or design. You have to trust in your ability to lead teams or manage change, whatever it is that you're good at and enjoy doing. You know your strengths and what you're comfortable at doing. Trust it and let it lead you know what you want it can be discouraging to try to do things you don't know you want to do it can be anything from choosing your career path to what color tie to wear when you know exactly what your goal is your focus is narrowed down to that specific goal in return you are more likely to be confident with your choice dress better i know you knew this one was coming I'm not just saying this because I'm a dresser too, but dressing up will uplift your confidence level because it makes you look good and put together. Putting the extra effort to dress up also gives you a competitive edge at your office, in your meetings, at networking events, wherever, because people perceive you to be more successful, capable, and of high status. And that's why you automatically feel confident to enter a room full of people. Smell good. Good aroma and smell affects your mood positively, especially when it's a cologne or perfume you really connect with. A little spritz of that will have you in a good mood and your behavior is likely to change because of it. Practice a good hygiene routine. So the complete opposite of smelling good is not smelling good. And just like good smells positively affect your mood or brain, foul smell will affect you negatively and will make you feel uncomfortable in your own body, which in return affects your confidence level. Like you don't wanna get close to people, you don't wanna be free with your body, you don't wanna express yourself the way you want to. So incorporating a good hygiene practice will not only keep your body healthy and clean, but it will also save you from being self-conscious all the time. Do power poses. Every consultant will probably tell you this, but it's because it works. Standing tall with chin parallel to the ground, shoulders relaxed and chest up, all of that affects your mood and behavior positively, according to psychologist Amos Cuddy. So I'm out here doing my Wonder Woman power pose every day to boost my confidence level. You should try to meditate. According to scientists at the University of Montreal, meditation releases feel-good chemicals that fights depression and self-doubt. So. 10 minutes of meditation per day will put you in the right mindset as well as help you control your breathing, which is believed to keep you in controlled, relaxed, and confident state in any given situation. 
always be prepared. For most of us, preparation is key to perform better. Being prepared with your industry knowledge, your insights, your presentation, and all of that will make you feel confident to stand up in front of many people to deliver your speech, or speak with your interviewer, or just even to give your driving license test. Here's a quote I like by Arthur Ashe. One important key to success is self-confidence. An important key to self-confidence is preparation. Know your weaknesses. Trying to do things you don't like and can't really do is not only a waste of your precious time, but it's also stressful. First of all, we can't be good at everything. Second, it's inefficient. It's best to know what your weaknesses are to avoid from engaging in them. And the sooner you can discover your weaknesses, the more you can focus on your strengths instead and become more productive and successful. Face your weaknesses. The alternative to steering away from your weaknesses is, of course, to face them. If you feel like a particular weakness is crucial to your business's success or it's just a skill you wish to develop, then you should work on it until you become more confident with it. Have a killer shoe game. Sometimes simple things like wearing very good shoes and hopefully comfortable can influence your entire outfit and image and in return your mood. The right shoes can make a dull outfit look interesting too. Build a good posture. A good body posture will get you to think more confidently as opposed to slouching. It makes you look more powerful and in control, which is why you will think more highly of yourself. Exercise. Exercising brings several benefits to your body and your mind. Adopting a regular exercise habit keeps your body in great shape, makes your skin look good, makes you a lot happier, relaxes your mind, feeds you energy. Look, all of these amazing benefits that will bring you more confidence. How about have a thing that makes you confident. It might be a good luck charm or a lucky shirt, maybe a favorite song that makes you feel great. For me, it's the color red. When I have something red on, I feel like I can do anything I want. It's weird, but it's my thing. Try to surround yourself with positivity. Stay away from anything that affects your vibe negatively. My mother says, what is life's purpose if it's not sweet? Sounds better in Tigrinya though. In my culture, it means embrace your life with positivity. If you find yourself around pessimist or discouraging company, I say this respectfully, drop them. If you keep hearing negative news, put it off. Any type of negativity stifles your initiative to do great things. So stay positive to think positive and be confident. Now that's a rhyme right there. What is your point of view? Tell me in the comment section below what are some of the practices that can influence confidence levels and what are some of the things that you like to do personally so you can increase your confidence. Let me know in the comment section below as I love to hear your thoughts. Thank you again for being here. To keep in touch with me, feel free to reach out to me on any of my social media platforms or email me at finan.co and I'll be happy to hear from you. Take care again. Ciao.